Hello fellow Total Warriors, I am Zardar and welcome. So today we're gonna be doing another How to Win series campaign. This time we're gonna be going for Quick Hitaker on the Mortal Empires map. He has a very hard initial challenge. I honestly don't know why, but uh, well, the game has to know something, right? Alright, so um, before we begin, let me just tell you this guide is more about of uh, me just playing through the beginning and show you some tricks, some uh, exact same steps that you need to take in order to uh, just uh, have an easy start and from there on you can uh, carry the day. Like, uh, this is a part 3 episode series which uh, by the end of it I will have formed like a strong power base of uh, usually around three provinces and from there on you should be able to just uh, have like a full stack of really good troops a secondary or even a third one and from there on it's uh, pretty much like uh, the way it's meant to be and um, uh, you conquering the map I mean <laughs> um, and yeah uh, I'm gonna be showing you exactly what needs to be done uh, how to play with Skaven at least in the beginning from there on it's up to you and uh, yeah, let's begin. So the race attributes, we have the Skaven under Empire, we establish warrants in any settlement and so on, so on. I highly suggest, uh, it's not standard, but I play with warrants, I establish my food resources from there, from them, like I make all of my food from that, I don't bother with money, I bother with money by just sucking enemy settlements, right? Uh, we also have the, have the food uh, mechanic, as we can see over here, we need to have enough supplies for growth, public order and all that, and other bonuses. And Skaven Corruption, which is uh, like every other corruption in the game. Um, Alright, so, as the faction affects, we quick hit taker steals a, percent of a uh, percentage of XP earned by other lords. Decent. Loyalty minus 2 for Grey Seer units, so uh, you'll have to resort to uh, melee fighters, at least in the beginning where the loyalty will be low. Melee attack plus 10 when fighting against dwarves and greenskin tribes, which is gonna prove quite useful, especially in the beginning, because we're gonna be fighting both of them. Weapon strength plus 10% also when fighting these two factions. <coughs> For example, these guys have 34, so it's gonna be like something like 38 point something. Upkeep minus 50% for Storm Vermin and Clan Rat units, so we run in the beginning with Clan Rats and from there on we just uh, roll with Storm Vermin. Army ability, number of uses, plus 2 for the menace from below, which is freaking amazing. Extra 2 uses is uh, it's just uh, really really good in, uh, in any battle. Alright, so we have additional starting units of Warp Lightning, Gather Runner Slingers and Storm Vermin with Sword and Shield. And uh, that should be it. Let us begin. So how do I set up my armies as the Skaven in terms of, you know, late game? Um, I used to go with uh, just like four play clock catapults, uh, something like uh, a couple of Globadiers to kill single entities or even four. No, I think two are enough. Uh, after the parts came out, um, Everybody be, has been rolling with rattling guns, Gisels and stuff like that. I just don't like them, like I ran with them in my Ikit Claw campaign and I faced the problem of not being able to get them up on the walls. That is a huge bum, me not being able to get troops up on the walls on a seat. Um, so uh, I gotta be honest, I don't like them and uh, I played the Ikit Claw campaign with a couple Gisels and rattling guns just for fun. But uh, I, I don't think I'm going to be playing with them anymore. Like, uh, it's really important for me. If you see my other How to Win series or even my campaigns, you will understand what is the true power of actually being able to be up on the walls, either as defender or attacker. Anyway, we begin uh, on Karagorod. Uh, we are in war already with uh, Mount Arachnos down here, and we have a Warren up here on the Karak 8 picks, which is the ultimate goal. So um, I highly suggest that you uh, don't build anything here uh, for now because there's not gonna be uh, enough money. What I suggest to do obviously is going straight for Grand Knight Massif, which we're gonna do. We're gonna start recruiting some slaves and that's really important. Over here we wanna kick off this... Um, where is it? We wanna kick off this right immediately. 
Uh, I would suggest getting your uh, Doom Engineer which establishes uh, new warrants. Not to, for example, send him over here on Camry. I would suggest to just get him across the sea so you start uh, expanding on this side. Because over here, inevitably, if you build uh, on uh, the Karakate Peaks, if you build the... Um, where is it? What's the name of that thing? Yeah, this one. The Subterranean Pit or the Mining Shaft. There's a really high chance that uh, your under wire is gonna be expanding. And uh, yeah, like if you leave it, you're just gonna expand through the old world, like uh, in all of the old world. What you can do is just cross the sea. So I would suggest you uh, go straight for that guy and just establish a warren on uh, Lastria or wherever else you want, even old one. But I will just go for Lastria. Uh, so yeah, we can uh, get an establishment there too. Alright, so we get uh, slaves, don't get any clan rats, and uh, I'm gonna tell you why. Over here, as I said, we're just gonna build this one and demolish it. Uh, we only wanted to unlock the ruthless plants, just to, where is it, get this one. Uh, then we're gonna destroy it, build something else that provides a technology, so we can get three technologies right off the bat. So we can uh, unlock the right here because we need three technologies it doesn't matter if it's just the first ones which take like one turn to complete um, it's still technologies all right what you actually need to do is recruit another lord here um, I would suggest going for uh, that uh, did that debuff actually applied only for graciers not warlock masters right so we're free to get uh, to get warlock masters um, the fight in the beginning will not have much to do. We kind of need a warlock engineer, actually, warlock master. Um, which one should I go for? Arkling over here, or some of these guys? Alright, we're gonna go for a, ma a warlock engineer master, but make sure he has at least three loyalty. If you go for uh, these guys, they will just, uh, yeah, they won't stay. Uh, loyal to you. So let's go with this one. We'll get even more slaves via the global recruitment just for the time being. And I don't think there's anything else to do. We just uh, click and turn. Alright, and the reason I'm recruiting slaves is because if you go for clan rats, Mount Arachnos, which uh, has its armies down here, will just never attack you first. And uh, we can actually want them to attack us first. So going with a lot of clan rats, it's gonna give them um, like it's gonna inflate the balance of power, and they're gonna think that they can win, but they actually can't. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to win. This is gonna be the st uh, standard. Like if you follow the exact same steps, I uh, by movement, position your troops in the exact same position. It's gonna be easy. And actually you don't even have to do that, because if I'm correct, this province, no matter where you fight, it's still gonna be uh, a bridge battle. Uh, Alright, we're just gonna auto-resolve this one, we don't need to uh, get any food. I'm pretty sure we can suck it and then reach it again. Yeah, we can. Should be like that in every uh, gameplay of yours. We're just gonna occupy that level 1, don't need it anymore. And uh, we're gonna go for root marcher. Alright, Commandment, I'm gonna go with a Recruitment one, because I wanna pop, uh, uh, pop as many uh, slaves as I can. <coughs> we're gonna get Clan Rats, just uh, not until we fight these guys. Uh, Alright, we're gonna go for this one over here first, because in one turn this is gonna become available. We're gonna issue the, uh, the research here. Uh, then we're gonna destroy it and when this thing comes up we're gonna have uh, we're gonna be able to go for another technology don't upgrade the granite mass massif like you need this thing to reach level uh, 3 as fast as possible to get a garrison so you won't have to worry about rebellions or any other uh, any other army coming after you so um, yeah like uh, the edict is on we're just gonna recruit some more slaves here, these guys getting in some more, and we'll just keep going.
So, this is quite important. You need to bring this guy like half of uh, the movement points that he can, so he can go into an camp, like over here, should be cool. Uh, okay, 51% movement Channel points remaining. We go into an camp, we start globally recruiting again, and then quick camps the most of his movement points. Can he participate into a battle? Yes. He quick needs to be on the uh, on the right. If he's if he's not, it's it's fine. But it should be uh, it's better if he is uh, on the uh, on this side. Um, let's go with some more clan rats over here. As I said, uh, I mean slave rats. Because if we go with clan rats, these guys won't make the attack, and then I we will have to fight the garrison as well, which is not big. Uh, but um, yeah, it's better if they come to us. All right, we're gonna go for this technology. We're gonna bring that thing down. Uh, then we're gonna have another one as soon as that one builds and that should be it then we're gonna destroy also that and just go for the last one this one rattling warrants which also provides a new technology okay then we didn't forget about anything did we? Nope. Right, let's keep going And there you go, that should be happening uh, to you as well, like this exact same outcome. Uh, if you had gone with clan rats, the army would be like somewhere over here, so they would never attack you. Alright, so we just go with uh, the maximum uh, uses uh, that are needed, it's fine. We're gonna be getting food after this battle. And what needs to be done here is just uh, make sure we kill off the generals first, the lords, and use the warp lightning cannon into maximum effect. And that is the reason I brought quick from that side. Well, I couldn't do it any other wise, any other way, because he didn't have enough movement points. I'm just saying, like, if you, I don't know, something different happens, just make sure he can reinforce and he's uh, on his right side. Because he's gonna be coming from here, and we're gonna position our warp lightning over here, and we're gonna be shooting down that bridge, uh, or yeah, gap, whatever it is. All right, we can uh, gamble a little bit. Should be good. Nice. We're gonna get you in group two. These guys will advance uh, up here and here. Now, the important thing that you need to uh, know about the Skaven is that numbers actually do count strength of numbers is really quite important and uh, on the first and most likely the second episode when i'm gonna be going after the dwarves you're gonna see that first hand all right so uh don't worry about uh, troops what you need to do is just uh, get as many uh, as many rats as possible like it doesn't matter the quality well, it kind of does, but not too much in the beginning, since all you're going to be facing is just uh, even more seedier troops than yours. Alright. Let's get quick on three, send him here, and you, my sweet boy, will come. Let's position it good. Something like this over here. Um, that rock shouldn't be a problem. It's probably there just for visual. I'm quite sure we can shoot through that. It's mostly the terrain that blocks you. <coughs> Alright, they're gonna be coming in with the chariots first. Now remember, this is the AI, it's a missile unit, so they will never get the chariot in. Uh, they're not that smart. And we're gonna get these guys like this, actually. Let me just... We want them something like that. We wanna hold the line like this, so the warp lightning will be able to shoot quite perfectly. So, how to use the, the slave rats? Don't all blow them up since the beginning into the fight. Uh, keep them in um, in waves, in, uh, in lines. Just uh, keep sending everybody in slowly. Alright, the warp lightning already started. How far can it shoot? It can shoot all the way to here. Nope, here. Okay, we need to get it just a little bit closer then. Because we want to shoot uh, the troops mostly. Alright, quick, get over here. They're not trying to go for the other side because uh, they feel like this army is weak and they can just break through. 
All right, let's keep going. Uh, position your routes like this, as I said, in waves. And the moment one breaks, you just send in the next. With that, what you achieve is tire out the enemy. And uh, when most of the uh, enemy force is tired, exhausted, that is when you send in the storm vermin and they just hold it like boss. All right, these guys, just because it's just it makes sense as a group. I'm gonna keep them uh, separately because they will be the uh, force that is gonna be going in the back. Now you gotta be careful. Don't ever go back into enemy lines when their force is at maximum. Like they haven't lost uh, HP yet, they haven't tasted blood, like nothing has happened. It's just the battle has started. Uh, if I send in my units uh, like right now, they would accomplish nothing. Believe me. So uh, we're gonna wait over here just to tire them out, these guys will just wait in reserve, it's not a big deal. And uh, we're gonna use our menaces from below just to tire out uh, the enemy archers. Now we have the warp lightning perfectly positioned over here and it's gonna be going in for some sweet kills. What you need to do is just uh, literally nothing, you just stand here and you keep sending waves of rats in. Alright, it's best if you just have at least two rats engaged, engaged at all times, so if someone breaks and you don't notice it, it's still gonna be fine, but yeah. Make sure you always come to them in waves. And they're so good blocked up that we can drop a walk light right into the thick of it. Ah, uh, I forgot about those. Alright, what do we do with those? Let's reform them over here. Alright, good strike in there. And one unit is retreating, it's fine. They will come back, they will just retreat somewhere towards here and uh, they will just run straight into the battle. Alright, do keep them poisoned, shoot into the blob of it. Alright, as I said, keep always two units just in case you're not fast enough to respond. And uh, let's keep bringing the, uh, the next waves. Alright, let's start by... Uh, Harassing the archers, and these guys will get destroyed. There's a lord back here. There's another. What's that? Orc archer boys, uh, which are quite tough. All right. Let's send these ones in because I see uh, these guys almost buckling. And uh, you get over here. All right. The storm vermin. Just keep them here. Now I think we have tied them down long enough. And now we start searching for leaders, all of the leaders are back here, the lords, which is not that cool. And you, my sweet prince, just keep shooting like that. Now uh, let's drop oh, another wolf lightning right into the thick of it. Even if you don't go for a wall of master, like, uh, it still should be fine. Because <clears throat> the moment, uh, the time I tested this, it was actually with just uh, another warlord, like, uh, quick. And it worked really, really fine. All you need is the warp lightning uh, cannon over here. All right, and uh, as I said, these guys are slowly coming back. Just keep sending them inside. Don't forget them. Like the rally troops, don't you forget them. All right, quick, how are you doing? Any lord inside? There's one that's coming. When you see a lord coming after you, don't take the bait. Just wait for him to come to you. Alright, more are rallying, to send them in. As you can see, the Storm Vermin haven't seen fighting yet. Uh, we're kind of... Yes, we're getting shot, alright, but we cannot want that because we're absorbing uh, the shots uh, with seals. So, uh, it's, it's alright, it's alright. You want the guys with seals to always absorb the, uh, the damage. Alright, I see that they're at least half strength, so we now start to send in the clan rats from behind. And the slaves, which are these guys, should just keep going in. And I think it's time for the storm vermin. Let us begin. Alright, this guy is getting <coughs> beaten up hard. Where scroll? I mean, uh, quick. And you don't want to be doing that. Overex. Oh, shit. I just hit in the second screen. Let's fall back with quick. Don't ever allow your lords to overextend. Like I did over here. And uh, the warp lighting. Good. Just uh, keep shooting straight through that. Alright, let's drop another one over here. Path warp lighting. Let's bring you. No, no, no. Keep going like that. And quick. Uh, where's the enemy lord? Has he overextended? He should be somewhere. Uh, one is back there. Where's the other one? 
All right, there he is. All right, quick, go after him, and you stay back here. And uh, yeah, don't uh, don't forget about rallying units. Just keep sending them in. All right, let's bring you here. You guys keep shooting. That's right. Oh, look at this one. Leave the guy. Leave the guy. Let's come for them. Actually, no, no. Stay on him. You're fighting together with Storm Vermin. Use that. So you, and he's already beaten down a little bit. So it should be good. Let's get another summon here. Let's get a war flight in here. And uh, yeah, the Skaven are just perfect for defeating like really good stuff with cheap ways. And this is exactly what we're doing over here. Uh, th that's why like the Skaven are... Oh, that hit actually my man. Alright, shoot here. And that's why I love the Skaven, because they have like really cheap ways of killing expensive units. Like that is pretty much their definition. That's what the Skaven faction is. Uh, either it's uh, via the use of manas from below, either it's uh, warp lightning or anything else. They just accomplish like really great stuff. Alright, one boat has been killed or... Where is Quick? Okay, he's over here, so I guess... Uh, here, yeah, most likely he's killed. He has been killed. All right, who is still fighting? Just the Lord, all right, should be good. How many kills on the warp lightning? Holy hell! Even if you had it like up here, it it would still do the same damage. This this thing is really really accurate. Uh, it just was better on the side, so um, yeah, it it did the trick. All right, uh, let's uh, start chasing things down. Like, don't, don't allow them to uh, do escape. It's just free kills. All right, just go for them. As we can see over here. Now, chasing down opponents doesn't work like any other Total War game, as in Warhammer. Like, it's really hard to get things killed in this freaking um, in this freaking game when you chase them down for some reason. What is that? Is he stuck? Ah, the unit is over there, okay. Um, that's a Lord Hosekub. Okay, we don't need to kill the Lords. Beaten up is uh, just for them to be beaten up is all that we need. And just uh, keep playing this battle because I have free uses of menaces from below, so why the hell not use them? And you should always do the same, at least in the beginning. Like, uh, later on, if it becomes boring, you can just ignore it. Alright, and uh, that should be it, a close victory. And now, we begin recruiting clan rats. Since we got uh, the first fight done, and we pretty much destroyed Hoskub together with his uh, buddy. Uh, what was the name? <laughs> da -da -da -da. And yeah, that, that, that's how you need to play with slaves. Like, keep them in waves and just keep sending them slowly in just to tire out the opponent and then the storm vermin or even the clan rats will be able to hold their ground as you just uh, rain fire upon them with warp lightning or uh, the warp lightning cannon all right i'm gonna pick up the food we're gonna need as much food as we can get because we're gonna be using many menaces from below to overcome the odds so yeah let's go with that and both got experience and actually quick steals the percentage of some of these guys so he got even more from that battle okay enchanted item again and as i said this uh, this province is always gonna be a freaking uh, a freaking river all right uh which the one is that quick here taker i always go for ancient cunning first um the reason is because it's pretty great i also want the looter i i aim mostly for the quartermaster or uh yeah mostly for the quartermaster the reason i'm doing this is because quick is gonna be getting like uh, a good army soon okay and uh we're gonna have this guy running with a clan rat army or a slave army or anything like it since Quick is gonna be um, needing like upgrades, like uh, where is it? Where's the upgrades for the Storm Vermin? Here. If we get it from now, it's not gonna be good. If we get Pack Leader, 
it's gonna be wasted because we're gonna be running with storm vermin so uh, we just uh, we know that we're gonna have to wait like 15 turns to get storm vermin right or even more or even less doesn't matter so what we do is just uh, go for another line which is really good to us both the ambush or the looter is freaking excellent and the quartermaster and uh, by the time we reach here we're probably gonna be able to field storm vermin and then we start upgrading this line that's why I always go uh, for blue line first well, well most of the time all right so um let's uh he's still recruiting so let's uh, leave him be just get quick over here give him uh, some slaves how many uh, yeah that should be good bring him over here and just recruit clan rats from now on and we can go for this one to make some money because we can't avoid the rebellion yeah, one rebellion is gonna happen we're just gonna have to cross it but uh, by the time we wait for it let's just make some money and that's what exactly this thing does let's get rid of that and go for the technology for the next one which takes one turn uh, the other guy got the level up just go for root marcher he's gonna be running a slave army because as I said that's how the Skaven roll like all you need is just one army of clan rats another army of slaves and you can win uh, like even black guys of dagger and you might think that I'm kidding right now well well if you think just go watch my threats campaign I think I took Nagarond like and I destroyed the Dark Elves pretty much with just threats running with clan rats well I, I gotta be honest I had a grace here that uh, had that armor debuff which for sieges when you have a city army is one of the best skills in the game i think one of the best spells you can't possibly understand like what it means to have like 20 rats up on the walls fighting blackguard of nagarond or harganeth which the harganeth can pretty much kill all 20 of them it's just tough it's just slaves and clan rats but if you drop a spell that reduces their armor by 60 or when overcasted they just melt all right, uh, let's go for this one now. We reset that. Uh, let's go for that just for a moment. I'm pretty sure we can get that to level two. Ignore, ignore this one for the time being. The uh, the Warren. Um, actually, we could go for the food already. Yeah, we should. Okay, and now we attack. Let's get this guy out of guard mode. He should be coming here. Not guard mode. Uh, in camp stance. And you should be attacking. Yeah, this guy tried to avoid us. Damn it! If he was here, it would just be uh, just another easy battle. Okay, we're gonna auto resolve this one because it's easy. Um, we're gonna suck it, of course. We're gonna go in with the other guy. Uh, level one should be good. Uh, quick. Now, can we just get... Mm, no. Alright, it's good. Just stay here and replenish. Uh, probably these guys, they don't have any settlement remaining, so they will make an attack. So quick standing out and defending is actually quite good, because he's gonna be able to replenish. And um, uh, we're gonna need this one here. I think we, sh we will need it. Let's uh, get some recruitment going. Recruit one here. Just a couple more here. We we just want to get a full clan rat army with quick. Like we gotta get rid of all the slaves here. Just give it to this guy. And uh, from there on, it should be good. Okay. Um. Let's destroy that thing and go for the food. I don't want this one yet because it will just um. Yeah, it will get me another warren, but I won't be able to uh just uh filled enough money all right we get rid of that that only uh discoverability plus 80 that's a lot okay uh, let's bring it down with this thing we could go for this one too and i'll uh, leave it leave it like that it should be all right for now i just want to make food we keep that thing for at least one turn nothing else to do here no need to re repair because i'm gonna get rid of that i think I don't want any red buildings inside my settlements. 
uh, when uh, the public order is not fixed because if you don't know about that red settlements uh, when present cause the rebellions to field better troops for example if you if a skaven rebellion pops if there's no red building present it's all gonna be like clan rats uh, slaves clan rats with spears perhaps some night runners and that is it like that is gonna be the whole army if you have a red building it's gonna be rat ogres it's gonna be uh, plague claw catapults <laughs> it's gonna be globadiers or anything uh, of the sort uh, and the same applies to the rest of the factions for example for the vampires if you have uh, a red building it's gonna be crypt ghouls uh, black knights uh, vargeists graveguard if you don't have a red building it's all gonna be skeleton spearmen and felbats all right, um, so quick, let's trade some troops over here. All right, cool. That is how we roll. Oh, sorry, wrong army. Quick should be the one making the attack. All right, so they didn't try to lock us inside. That is good. Just free experience for us and food. All right, faction destroyed Arachnos. If I remember correctly, that city is uncolonized and Karak Zorn is down here. Okay, so we will have to waste yes, yes. some money to get that. Alright, let's get over here. Oh, can we underway? No, we can't. Alright, just get here. I don't think there's anybody coming. Alright, cool. Um, we destroy that thing. And there's gonna be a rebellion back home, so we go immediately over there, hoping to stop it, and we're actually gonna be stopping it for a turn. Uh, that's good, alright. We need to get rid of that again to go for something else. I said that we don't want red buildings, otherwise we're gonna face a tough rebellion, so just leave this one for the moment, and that one to be building up. Uh, two turns to upgrade this one, cool. And if I'm correct, by the time you have done all of the same, like sack and then occupy both of these cities, you're gonna be on the chapter objectives, two out of three. So, oh, sack and occupying doesn't count as the different, okay, whatever. Um, yeah, as soon as we take the, the lost plateau, we're gonna be getting how much money? Two thousand and a thousand. Rings rank 5, yeah, we're not gonna do that. Earn the following amount from raiding, we're not gonna do that. Capture, yeah, uh, no. No, okay, so uh, we're just gonna get like 3k or something. That's good. That's, uh, that's good enough, don't worry. Alright, so we, let's uh, just end the turn. Hmm. Ha, the, po the food is on the positive, that is good. So, um, the plan. And the plan in general should be consolidating, we've already done that, consolidating the Sarnel Valley or Sarnel. Then we're gonna go for Southlands World Edge Mountains. Uh, don't worry about Karak Zone, it should be like a super easy battle. Uh, you just need two armies, you need to lock the garrison inside and just fight the one outside. The balance of power is gonna say that you can't do it, but you actually can, just trust me. Um, and yeah, as soon as we consolidate that, we're gonna get walls in Karak Zorn and also in uh, whatever that is. And there's only like two ways if you wanna get in the east over here. Either from up here, from the Sarnel Passage. Yeah. yeah. If they wanna come, they have to come through here, which means they're gonna attack Karak Orud. If we have walls over here with a warp bulb inside, it doesn't matter if they bring a full stack of sword masters of Hoth, they're still not gonna get through. And the same goes for here. Uh, I think Bowman of Orion are over here and they will probably def uh, declare war on you, like they hate rats, okay? Uh, but also if you have walls in here, a warp lightning, a warp bomb, they're, they're, you're just gonna destroy them. Alright, we're gonna get the rattling warrens, they uh, provide growth and uh, some replenishment which we're gonna need after this colonization here I would go for actually level 2 because I have the food and um, I just wanna postpone the rebellion so I'm gonna go for public order immediately in here and also some more growth uh, quick keep getting the ancient cunning and you how many slaves do we have still in the army? 
five. So let's get some clan rats, which we're gonna be giving to Quick. And that is it, like we don't need to globally recruit anything else at the moment. Imminent Rebellion, yes, I'm quite aware of that. And uh, how many turns for just one? Alright, cool. Prestige grows, All right, my lord. we got the chapter of objective, of your two out of five missions, still decent enough, your now we need to loot Razor Sack six the... more to get the next step, uh, gotta leave these two to level one, they don't need to be upgraded uh, more than that, alright, and you, Skittis, let's get you, um, actually let's go for magic, because we're gonna need some good magic, against Karakzorn. Alright, quick, can you force Mud back to Mount Arachno so you can keep replenishing still and also being able to make it back here? Good. Alright, let's go with this one. Malcontents are still living. So, um... Alright, wh what are we gonna need in here? We're gonna need walls, okay, for sure. Uh, but we need to stabilize the public order at some point, so uh, we're gonna have to get rid of that to get this. Um, after that one gets to level 3, this should be upgraded like almost immediately, you, we should be able to get the growth fast. Um, so in here I'm thinking about getting like this one, just so I can unlock Plague Lock Catapults, we love Plague Lock Catapults, or even this one for the Plague Priest. Um, this one and walls, okay good. Let's go. All right, what happened up here? We can get some more stuff. Let's go with uh, this one, and then we should be adding that. Sounds good. Sounds good. We have the money. We can do whatever the hell we want for the moment. And uh, all right, five slaves. Four. So go with one of that, and the rest let it also be slaves. All right, cool. And uh, let's hope they're gonna get the full stack. You see their army? It's just clan rats and some night runners. Still gonna be quite hard, night runners, you know. And quick is not at full strength. <coughs> I think I might actually wait for them to attack Karag uh, or Rud, because the dwarves are just not gonna go anywhere. They're just gonna wait for me to get slaughtered. Alright, let's see, how good did Quick replenish, how much, oh. <coughs> oh, he's in a good spot, but I, I would prefer to uh, to be even more, so I'm just gonna come here, go in, in a camp stance, we have another full stack, good, and probably these guys either this turn or the next they will attack, if not, we'll attack them, I just need to replenish a little bit, let's not... Uh, waste our army for no reason. Oh shit, I totally forgot about this one, haven't I? Um, yeah, I could have gotten this guy a lot lot earlier. It's fine, let's get him now. Like, I was planning to uh, unlock like uh, this one 
immediately in order to uh, get the guy and I forgot it's fine it's fine now let's get him and I'm gonna be just sending him over here as I said I'm thinking long term not short term because eventually like if you apply uh, if you build a war in here you're gonna be conquering that and uh, the way you should expand uh, as I said earlier because of there's gaps uh, it's easily defendable from uh, the west like over here because it's just two cities you build garrisons and, and it's good nobody can come after you so you consolidate uh, the garrisons here and then you move east which uh, is just a couple of provinces you just destroy firstly I would suggest the vampire counts and uh, court Libaras and then move on to uh, what's uh, Crocker and don't worry about the lizards the same thing that we're gonna be uh, we have been doing here uh, do I want to upgrade that or should I mm. money is running a little bit low Okay, let's get it. We're gonna make money from that rebellion. <coughs> Always see rebellions this way. Just easy money. Easy investment money, especially in the beginning. Like, most of my campaigns, if you see them, like, if I didn't have rebellions, I, I would be screwed. Like, I would have to wait, like, extra 10 turns in order to uh, get the money to build the economy or anything else. Alright, it seems they have made the attack immediately. That's good, that's good. Technology research plus one local recruitment capacity. And now with go, uh, we go with quick into most likely ambush stance because we maxed it out and see. That's why ambush is just overpowered in this game. That's why Skaven are overpowered in this game. No matter whatever, uh, whatever somebody tells you, somebody else tells you about the Skaven, always know that they are overpowered, okay? Sorry, I sneezed. Um, Alright, so now, next step should be go and consolidate Karak Zone with what we have. We don't need something else. This is like uh, all that we are gonna ever need. We get this, we give off the slaves. Good, fair trade. Quick, quick requires the, the best units. Uh, we're gonna go for the looter. Excellent and quick. Can you force march back inside Mount Arachnos? No, but he's gonna be replenishing along the way and this guy is gonna be doing that too. So let's move here. Do not worry about these guys. They shouldn't be a problem. Although I'm pretty sure they probably attack somebody and get destroyed. So it would be best if I finish them off. But yeah, whatever. Let's go for this one now as well. And what is going up here? We have lost visibility because we built that. It's alright and research available um, let's go for that I like income from post battle loot increased more money the better for us and um, should I go for public order now I think I should just to postpone the uh, yeah, there's gonna be another rebellion for sure but uh, I'm kinda hoping not hoping, I know it will it won't happen until I uh, at least I take Karakzorn. Now the end goal should be of course to get, uh, I, I totally forgot about that, to get Karak 8 picks, but you don't need to rush it, like, as I said, consolidate these two provinces, go take care of this one, so you have like a super strong power base over here, uh, on this edge of the map, and you just push north from there on, 
uh, take Karak 8 picks, take out the dwarves around it, the green skins around it, and all that comes with it, and uh, from there on it should be easy. Alright, some little bit of attrition we're gonna suffer here, but we're gonna make it by just replenishing. The same goes for this guy. And uh, alright, let's go uh, again for this. I know it sounds stupid that I had it, I destroyed it, but I only did it to unlock the technology is really really fast. I failed at uh, remembering it because I had the technology earlier, uh, ready earlier. Uh, but it's fine. Like um, I'm just, I just did that so uh, I can get this guy as fast as possible and just set up the Warren as fast as possible. By fast, I mean you know, he's gonna reach his uh, destination in like 20 turns or something. It's not gonna be. Uh... So yeah, the the faster you get him, the the better for you. If it's gonna be 24 tens instead of 20, it's fine. It's bad if it's like you get that agent there in 70 turns instead of 20. That's what's gonna be bad. Well, not bad. As I said, you can go however you want with warrants. I just feel like I'm always thinking like long term, not short term. In short term, if I uh, put the warrant somewhere over here, I'm gonna capture that. So um, I need it somewhere that I'm not gonna have my eyes on to. Like, I'm just gonna take all of that well there's always the possibility of confederation but uh, yeah there's that well you can go for Ulthon if that's how you feel if uh, you feel like you're gonna confederate with Skrulk or uh, Ikit or anybody oh Ikit is actually here on the Mortal Empire sorry okay let's go for let's see first here things look good for pub, is there anything? Yeah, I, if I remember correctly, there's gold. Yeah, there's gold in Karak Zone. That should be good. That should help us like uh, really a lot. Why is the underway not giving me enough movement points? Okay, I need to come here. I will suffer uh, attrition and then replenish. And the same goes for you again. All right, the rats are perfectly fine. And uh, yeah, like uh, this is what you're always gonna face against Karak Zor. One army inside, one army outside. And uh, this is one of the uh, few occasions that the uh, the balance of power is gonna be working in our favor. And you're gonna see how and what I mean. So, we, lo uh, we go with a slave army, that's why we needed to. And you should always have uh, a secondary army in the early campaign, it's so useful for this kind of situations, it's just locking the one arm inside. Anyway, we go with the slaves, we lock inside the garrison and the other stack. We destroy the one outside, it should be like a super easy battle. Uh, the bounce of power most likely is not gonna be in your favor, uh, just because of the armor of the dwarves, but it should be like super easy, like two full stacks, even if it's slave rat. Um, then, we just uh, maintain the seeds, we end the turn because we don't have any seeds attacker. Actually we have the warp lightning, but you don't have to do it because they will sally out, okay? Um, you will destroy them as soon as they sally out as well. And then you just uh, go and take the city. Super easy. Okay, uh, you know what, I'm just gonna go for old one. Because, uh, yeah, there's the possibility of confederating with Ikit, so keep going towards there. It's not that we wasted any movement points, it's still the same path that we needed to follow. Okay, and uh, let's go with walls over here, and uh, damn it, we need to make money. It's alright. Okay, should I wait one turn to uh, fully, fully replenish? I mean, this army is probably um, is alright, and these guys are only rats, like, who cares about slave rats? Alright, let's uh, make sure the movement point is all right, yes, so make sure you won't F up this one and attack, for example, the army outside, alright, attack Karak Zone, what time is it? We might not have enough time, it's alright, we're gonna do it on the next episode, the balance of power is gonna be abysmal, it's gonna be so bad, but fear not, don't ever trust the balance of power with the scaven. And we're gonna go here, since we maxed out the ambush, this is pretty much the result you're gonna take, you're gonna have. Don't auto-resolve this one, it's just gonna destroy half of your army. If you play it manually the exact same way, all they have is just dwarf warriors and some quarrelers, which with all these numbers the quarrelers uh, will only uh, get to fire like once or twice. 
And if I remember correctly, Karak Zorn is also a map that uh, if you fight a battle outside, not an ambush one, a, a standard battle, it's also a river. Uh, so I'm pretty sure on the next, when uh, those two armies are gonna sally out, the garrison and, um, and the other stack, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a river one too. All right, so uh, we're gonna get that thing right straight up on their face. Stone vermin here, because they're gonna be the all the only ones holding their lines. So uh, we kind of want them to be uh, in front of the uh, of the cannon here, so we know that they won't get through the lines. We're gonna leave these guys here. Quick is gonna come and hide back here, along with. Uh, Another force. Alright, let's hide them all. Good. Um, and uh, that is the plan. <laughs> right. All right. Let's make sure that's all the units. Right, this one is here. Alright, cool. So, no need to gamble. These guys will be coming from over there. We just need to tie down our opponents and let's keep going. Come over here. Quick, you can start moving. Uh, Wolf Lightning, shoot the Lord immediately. That's gonna apply some pressure to them. Let's bring these guys to uh, keep applying poison. And let them engage. Don't bring these guys out yet. Just uh, use your time just getting the reinforcements in. Alright, Storm Vermin, go here and here. You go here, you go here, here. And you guys just wrap around here. And now we get these clan rats to go in as well. Keep bringing this ones, just give the order something like that. Um, you get over here. What is that? Uh, no need, it's the dwarves. Okay, um, go! What are you waiting for? Actually, let's send you back. <coughs> These guys might collapse. Alright, um, now we need to start shooting troops. They're perfectly blobbed up. And uh, we have the high ground. We can keep spawning some rats, like, it's fine. Quick, oh shit, I forgot about you. You need to go after the Lord, dude. Um, let's go here, let's go here, here, here. Uh, these guys are blocking up a little bit too much. Well, it's alright, just keep pushing through. Uh, actually, no, you come up here, you come up here. Come on, clan rats, I need you. And I need the Wolf Lightning as well. Alright, uh, you go straight for that Lord. Can we drop, oh my god, we can drop it already. And we can overcast it, shit, I didn't see this one. Right, we're gonna overcast the next one. Alright, Warp Lightning, how are you doing? Also be really well. Let's get you up here. As I said, we don't want the lines to collapse. And uh, don't let these guys uh, get away. Uh, use this one and go straight for him. Just keep popping menaces from below. It doesn't matter if they get destroyed. That means your standard units won't get destroyed, okay? <coughs> They uh, they get all of the damage being done to them, so your troops are gonna be fine. Okay, let's drop that one right here. Should be good. And let's send these guys in as well. And uh, yeah, as you can see, they're already battling. Right, how's quick? Ah, come on, get into that fight. Get over here, and you just uh, just go in. Let's do something like this. A hugely uh, blocked up formation. Alright, warp lightning. Let's shoot something like in here. Should be alright now. Let's pop some rats here. Because we will take care of that via warp lightnings. Alright. Good. Why do you stop? Keep moving. Just keep them occupied. Alright, you, um, I don't know, just do your things. How's the Lord going? Oh, Quick is destroying the shit out of him. This guy, well, he can go and fight. Alright, give me another warp lightning, please. Alright, where, where are you shooting? It's obstructed, why it's obstructed? Shooting here. Right there, that warp lightning is gonna drop. Good. And uh, keep going in. How's the Lord? 
Not dead yet. Uh, let's just, I don't know, overcome this one. Did you get him? Yep, you did. Alright, go help these guys out. You, I don't know. Like, uh, go wherever you want. And that battle should be over. Everybody's wavering from what I can see. We'll just kill them all. Uh, now this is an ambush battle. I don't remember. Do you, do, does the army automatically get destroyed? Because um, I don't want to fight a second time, to be honest. Uh, I don't remember. Damn it. Oh, why these guys didn't waste their ammunition? They weren't shooting. All right, I'm gonna gamble on this. I'm gonna risk it. Um, I'm quite sure that the army should get automatically destroyed. Get destroyed. Pick up the food, and yeah, it's automatically destroyed. Leadership plus four when fighting against dwarves. Ah, that's nice. Yeah, you're probably gonna be getting uh, such kind of skills. All right, quick, you can go for the draft master. You uh, can go for uh, better warp lightning. Just max out the warp lightning. It's one of the best spells. Uh, that the uh, early Skaven could have. Ah, oh, damn it! We still don't have enough. Oh shit! Spread our own corruption. It's all right. It's all right. I mean, we could cancel something up here, right? Where's the war? Oh, it's already been built. Ah. Okay. So um, let's build. Um, come on! I need the sl slave army. There you go. Wipe out. <coughs> Just get one run. As I said, don't don't barge in. There's no need. Like they will come outside. And uh, it's gonna probably be a river battle. If you want, you can go in. You can still win. I, I'm just trying to show the uh, the easiest way over here. Like if it was me, I would just barge in. To be honest, if you've seen any other of my campaigns, you probably know that by now. But I just like to get uh, to see things get killed in a glorious epic charge. But uh, over here the smart choice is just wait them out because the balance of power is so overwhelmingly uh, in their favor that they will. Okay. And as I said, they will sally out and just look at the balance of power. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> no, by no chance. That warp lightning can pretty much solo like uh, at least half of the army. Just kill the half half of the army. Like how many troops do they have? Like uh, a thousand something? Uh, perhaps even more. Uh, it can kill like uh, at least uh, 400 people if placed correctly. In the last battle I didn't position it that well. Oh, it's got a couple of severance as well. Nice. And uh, we still have the storm vermin. We're gonna use the same strategy. It's a river battle. I'm like 100% sure. Yep, you see. Uh, it's just I, I don't know. It's just standard for these two provinces. Uh, the the original one we fought off uh, in the beginning and this one. So um, I guess the time has passed. We're up to one hour, and that seeds. I mean that uh, that battle is gonna take some time, and also the next one after that, because we're gonna attack straight up inside after it. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna continue this next time. So I really hope you enjoyed guys Feel free to leave a like or a comment feel free to subscribe if you're not and hit that notification button Also check out all of my other uh, you know social stuff discord Twitter and that and yeah, see you next time. Bye. Bye